Tuesday, September 15th, and uh, but didn't get up to the hangar. Well, I got up to the hangar. Um, had to retrieve some tools from up there, but didn't get up there to do any work. Um, but decided to, I needed to create some or make some weighted bags for part of the construction. There's some areas, oh, I'm in my garage at home, by the way, I'm not up at the hangar. Um, decided to make some uh, weighted bags for part of the construction where you have to basically put weighted bags on there to hold uh, parts down, hold skins down, things like that. So uh, wasn't quite sure what to do with that. Thought maybe I could get maybe some lead shot weight bags, um, things like that. But lead shot is, turns out, is super expensive. So um, didn't do that. Ended up getting just some sand. $4.50, 50 pound bag of sand from uh, the big box store and a box of the Ziploc quart freezer bags. I just double bagged all of these uh, bags. Ended up with 17 bags, 50 pounds worth of sand in 17 bags. So I think they're, they, they range. I didn't weigh them out or anything like that, but they're about between two, probably two and a quarter and maybe three pounds per bag. So it's not precise, but they should work. They're all double bagged. So if something happens, hopefully they don't get sand on anything and we'll take extra Ziploc bags in case we do get one with a hole in it. The other thing I did was um, bought some one foot sections of rebar and um, I wire brushed them and painted them, spray painted them flat black. Um, and I got four of those. And those are because I did make the decision to order another rudder kit. Uh, it's kind of a spendy deal. Um, I'm not gonna call it a mistake, but yeah, I, I guess I could call it a mistake. We, we hurried uh, through that rudder and I, it's one of those things that's just gonna be in the back of my mind if we went with the one that we have, it's always going to bother me. It's just these little things that are always going to bother me. Um, so I decided to order a new rudder kit. Uh, there was a couple other things I needed to order, um, like a tow bar, uh, things like that. So just kind of combine that into one big order. But um, yeah, so we're going to have a either a piece of art for our house from our <laughs> rudder we made uh, last week or a couple weeks ago. Um, and we might use that rudder too to uh, also practice some, some metal work on. But, uh, oh yeah, the rebar. So when, uh, when you have to bend the leading edge of the rudder over, um, you Clico it to a piece of uh, PVC pipe and you uh, need some leverage to bend it over. And I think that's part of our problem is I didn't have enough leverage or we didn't have enough leverage. I was using just, we just stuck some screwdrivers through the PVC, drilled a hole in it, stuck a screwdriver through it. And um, you just couldn't quite get enough leverage on it. So yeah, some nice long foot long pieces of rebar will stick in that, that PVC and uh, that'll really give us a good bend. We'll get a nice leading edge on that and that should form up really nice. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, but, um, I don't know how long it's going to take to get the new rudder kit, but we're continuing on. It's not like we have to put it on. Um, it's not being mounted or anything like that right now. So we've got time. We'll, we'll circle back to the rudder. Um, we're working on the vertical stabilizer and um, the other video I did was I've got the spars and hinge hinges uh, primed for the horizontal stabilizer and let's see what else did I do oh I ordered a whole bunch more um, cobalt drill bits uh, ordered a rivet removal tool that uh, and that was part of our problem with that rudder is I I messed up um, at least one of the rivets I might have messed up a another one that we had to drill out that, that we ended up replacing but so ordered a rivet removal tool a nice uh, high precision protractor digital protractor um, that is it measures down to 
0.05 degrees. Um, so we use that to um, make sure there's no twist in any of the surfaces, the uh, wings, the ailerons, the horizontal stabilizer, the vertical stabilizer. Uh, so we use that uh, and in combination with the weight bags, um, that's how you remove the twist from it uh, when you're riveting it up. So you get it all square and level uh, using the bags uh, across the surface and then you can go through and rivet everything so it's kind of holding it down. Well, that's it for now. Um, yeah, just waiting on the supplies I ordered, the extra drill bits, uh, a couple tools that I needed. Um, I, I shouldn't say waiting on it, but that's what's coming next and hopefully uh, we might get back up to the hangar tomorrow and um, if we do we'll uh, do another video and that's it for now